okay, let's kind of walk you through the whole process. Let's say I've decided I want one of these prices, right? I've went to the website, I've pulled up the size chart, you can print it off if you want to do that. Got my soft cloth tape measure, measures in centimeters. Had somebody help you do this. I had my brother step away from the camera while we had it shut off and he helped me do the measurement, okay? Right basically just under your arms, full circumference with whatever riding apparel you intend to wear when you're using the brace. We did that and I came up with about 107 centimeters, okay? Not a problem, looking at the size chart, 5 feet 11 inches tall, 107 centimeters, puts me right at the top of the large, extra large scale. Okay, cool. I want one. I'm ordering. Of course, I'm going to order it from STG. Let's fast forward to I receive the package. FedEx drops off another wonderful gift for myself, right? Get it. Let's pull it out. And this is where the work begins. Okay, this is... This is where, first, if you decide if this is going to work with your riding apparel, you're going to be able to keep it. And, and second, if it works with your helmet, all these things, and, and you're comfortable wearing it. Okay, so this is a process. Commit to this because this is an expensive piece. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that if you order one, right, and you go through all these steps, that you're actually going to ride in it and use it. So really spend some time doing this. This is how it comes packaged, right? I took the brace out and assembled it. Got your adjustment blocks in there, you've got your Allen wrench, you've got a strap to help hold the brace down, which personally, I don't use that. I think if you fit this thing upright, you don't need to use the strap. Okay, I think the strap's overkill, and odds are if you're using the strap, the thing probably doesn't fit you right. Okay, so, alright, got it out of the box. Here's my brace. It comes in essentially two pieces, right? Show you that really quickly. You undo these, these levers right here, right? goes together pretty easily. This is like anything new, okay? Learning how to handle this, right, in a, in a nice fluid motion, it could take a little bit of practice. You're not going to throw this on the first time and look like you've done it a million times. What I recommend that you do is leave one side attached, other side undone. Go ahead and slide it around like so. Kind of get it sitting flush. Like that. Alright, and this is right out of the box. I, I didn't do anything with this, okay? I'm just, I'm just trying it on now. How's that fitting, Josh? That's sitting on my traps? Not looking so good. Yeah, wow. Not even, wow. Not even close. I need to make some adjustments to this thing. Alright, where do we start? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this thing off, okay? We've shown you the different adjustments, alright? We've got the sliders here in the back. That's the path of least resistance. I'm going to start with that, okay? I would personally, I would either start with this or I would start with the adjusters that adjust the spacer right here, one or the other. Go ahead and pop up this tab, like so. Slide it back. I'm going to go, because I've already played with this, right? I know where I need to be with it. I'm going to go to the, the furthest point and lock it down both sides. When you've got this brace fit up properly, right, it's going to sit down on your trapezius, your chest, and your back in a very flush comfortable man. Go ahead and slide that one back. And now let's repeat the process again and see if we've improved it. And if so, are we good to go yet? How are we doing? Sitting right on my traps? Not yet. Uh, still feels really tight. And okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to replace the adjusters, I'm sorry, the spacers that it came with from the factory with the largest ones. I've already played with this, used it, worn it, and I know that it came with 10 millimeter spacers. I need the big 30s that are in the box in order to replace these. Really easy to do. Use the supplied Allen wrench to loosen the screws and then install 
the desired spacer block. I'll be right back after I have these installed and we'll show you how it fits. Okay, here we go. Now I've got on my, my Bell RS1 helmet, right? Just in a standing position. I've still got the trap blocks in, okay? And let's show you the range of motion. It's kind of turned sideways so you can see that. Forward. Side to side. You know, you could even get down into kind of a riding position, right? Let's take this one step further and let's go sit on a bike. Okay, the last step is, right, is to get on your motorcycle, in your riding apparel, you've got the brace on, you've got the helmet that you're going to wear on, and just kind of move around like you're, you're riding on the bike, get into different positions, right? You know, say so you're just street riding, kind of look through the corners. And I would say, based on the interaction that I'm feeling at this point, what I would do with the brace is I'm going to remove the blocks. I'm going to let the brace sit a little bit closer to my body because I'm feeling some interaction when I go to look through the corner. Okay, I've removed the blocks, allowed the brace to come a little closer to my body, right? Put the helmet and everything back on, and now let's go ahead and go through this process again. On the bike, kind of in a tuck. That's fine, that works out no worries whatsoever. Kind of looking through a corner. You know, and for me, the range of motion there, totally acceptable, not a problem. Remember, that's going to be a little bit different with every brand of helmet that you would wear. That influenced it, it seemed like that's maybe about 10 millimeters, something like that. Okay, so it allowed the brace to come closer to the body and bought me some more room. So when I'm looking through a corner, there's really no restriction whatsoever. Okay, now we're just going to wrap the whole thing up. I think we've really covered this very thoroughly from beginning to end and, and showed you all the steps that you need to go through in order to make sure that this is going to work for you. And what I want to say is this. Is, is once you've ordered it, right, you sized yourself up, you've ordered it, you've received it, you went through the adjustment process, before you go out and ride in it, okay, we really want you to make sure you're sitting on the motorcycle and you're moving around and, and you feel good about it then, right? It's going to feel a little bit different and there's, there's a little period of adjustment, but as long as when you're on the motorcycle and, you know, you're moving around, you don't feel anything that's horrible, odds are you're going to be fine. It's just going to be about you adjusting to the brace. But we want you to be able to send it back if, in fact, it has some really horrible interaction with your helmet or you just you don't feel that you can pull this off. It's like any other kind of apparel. Once you really go out and ride in it, right, we can't resell it as new, right? So we really can't take it back. But as long as you spend the time before you ride in it and make sure that it's going to work for you, I think you'll save yourself that aggravation or frustration of being stuck with something that doesn't work for you. Last thing we want to do here, this is the suit that uh, this is the suit I'm going to race in this year, okay? It's the Alpine Stars race replica suit. It's a really nice suit. Underneath it, I have on my Knox Contour back protector. I took a measurement, right, and I went now from my 107 centimeters to about 113. So we picked up about 6 centimeters in difference. And at this point, I cannot get the large size to fit me. And what I want to do now is I just want to show you what it looks like when it's wrong. And you can see clearly this thing's, I can't get it to sit flat. This will give you an idea of, of what it looks like interacting with the race hump. You can clearly see the way the struts are positioned. It allows for fitment of a race hump. It worked well with the majority of the suits that we saw out there, okay, as long as the people were in the proper size range, right? But I just wanted to give you and I an example of bad. I have to wait to use a brace with this suit until the 2X size comes in. That's going to happen later in 2011. As soon as it does, I'm absolutely going to go out and, and ride in it because this is something that really has my interest peaked, you know, for sure. It has the ability, I think, to prevent some very serious injuries. I'm all about that, no doubt about it. I think you probably gauge that from the maxi pad comment at the beginning of the video, okay, that, you know, I, I do pretty much anything 
keep myself safer because I do have kind of a bad habit of falling off the damn thing from time to time. That's it. If you have any questions, any comments, okay, we are always available, okay. Some of us here at the shop know a ton about this brace right now. At this point, I would say I probably know the most about it, okay. You can always feel free to email me directly with your questions and comments. I'm available at service at sportbiketrackgear.com. That comes right to me. And, uh, you know, I'll make sure that you get the proper answer because this is a highly technical piece. This isn't something you just go on some random website and click and buy. It's going to be a lot of service behind the sale to make sure this is going to work for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian Van from sportbiketrackgear.com.